as we go into cover crop mixes, one of the situations we deal with, especially with high species mixes, is starting to identify the different cover crops that are actually present in your mix. And this can get pretty daunting depending on what species are present. Um, in this mix, we've got a decent amount of legumes, sunflowers, which are dominating much of this upper canopy. And so as you start to look at some of the legumes, I've got three picked out that are our cow pea, our green mung bean, and a soybean. And if you haven't had to identify these separately, then they can just all look very similar because they are larger legumes with a trifoliate structure. So a few kind of tips to help differentiate these. So this is our cow pea, and as we start to see some of the characteristics that are going to help us differentiate our cow pea, one of the first things that we're going to look at is our stipule. And our stipule is going to be located at the nodes down our plants, and this can be something on a lot of our legumes that can help us determine what it is. But on cow pea, the stipule is very large. It kind of has this elf ear teardrop to a point shape to it, and it's very flattened. At this point, we can then get down to is it really a cow pea or a green mung bean because both of these have very similar stipules on the plants. So if we keep looking at our cow pea, it has very large trifoliate leaves. And so the trifoliate leaf is just referring to these three leaflet structures that form one leaf. And on our cow pea, it's completely smooth. So this plant has no hairs anywhere on the stems or the leaves. We refer to this as being glabrous. And so there's just no hairs present anywhere. And that's going to be our comparison point between cow pea and our green mung bean. So on green mung bean, we still have these large stipules. The difference, main difference being there's hairs along this entire plant. And so we've got hairs down the stems, we have hairs on the leaves. And so with our green mung bean, it's a very fuzzy plant. And we refer to this as a pubescence that's coating and covering this entire plant. If we wanna think of some just ways to separate these, um, if you're familiar with cattle shows and slick shear shows where you're shaving off all of the hair, cow peas have a slick shear. And so there's no hair on our cow peas. One of the other features that we'll see differentiating some of our plants is kind of where the flowers are located. And so on our cow peas, the flowers actually come off of a main stem at the top and they're gonna come above the canopy as they start to progress. So this is gonna be the same on our green mung bean and our cow pea. And the pods will kind of come above the canopy and you'll be able to see all of those pods as they develop. If you're familiar with soybeans at all, those pods are located down the stem and that's also where our flowers are located, is down that main stem or secondary branches that are coming off the plant. So that flower location can also be an indicator of which of our legumes that we're dealing with. So to recap on these two, our green mung bean is very fuzzy. It has a high amount of pubescence on the leaves and the stems. And our cow pea is very slick. It's glabrous on the leaves and the stem. And so our last one, one of our most common large seeded legumes is soybeans. So our soybeans can have quite a few different leaf shapes. Some can be rounded, some can have a point to the end. So it's kind of hard to use an overall leaf shape to identify, but this flower location can help of those flowers being located down on the main stem. It's also very pubescent, just like our green mung bean. And then we have nearly non-existent stipules. They're very small compared to our other two legumes that are in this mix. So there's, there's just a few ways that we can start to tell the difference between our cow pea, our green mung bean, and our soybeans.